Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, it is Nero Dog here, and we're playing some Space Engineers. We're going to be playing some survival, and I'm going to be telling you the basics of how you can survive in a survival world. Now, for this example, we're going to start not on an empty world, but we're going to start with easy start. We're going to start with Lone Survivor, just because Lone Survivor is basically what we need it's not there's nothing too much and uh, it's a good example for what we need to do so we're just going to look at the options we're just going to name it the basics of survival axe players we don't need that because it's offline that's single player for this we're going to do realistic times three so that means my inventory is three times bigger the assembler uh, produces three times quicker and uh, sorry I think the refinery um, refines faster assembler produces faster as well max objects so we're gonna set this to about 150 because we don't want to be like mining and then have some really valuable ore because if I've mined up a whole like chunk of ores then those ores will disappear and we don't want that we're going to keep on this sort of healing, that means that I'll just heal myself when not receiving damage. Also save, disable. That just annoys me. Sorry about the yawn. Weapons enabled and show player names. Okay. So we'll let the world create. So basically survival mode was released yesterday or maybe the day before, I don't know. And uh, it's heavily based on asteroid mining, refining and then creating. So that's very interesting and it's always very fun to see what you have to do and have to find. No. We're in game and I'm just going to explain the basics of what everything do. So we have the nuclear reactor. Now everything needs a fuel source, well, an energy source and nuclear reactors are the things that will give you that. But they're not like in creative mode, they just power. You need to power it with uranium. So you've got some uranium ingots there. But that will run out eventually. Because if we run over to the cockpit and we look down in the bottom left, it will say fuel time three days. So we don't have enough, a lot of fuel left. Well, it will last us three space engineers days or three real life days. I'm not too sure actually. I need to find out. So the assembler wait we'll start with the refinery this is the first step so the first step when you get your new your fresh ores which will appear in your inventory by pressing k you'll it'll look they'll appear there so we go into the refinery and you can either press k to go into the control panel and rename it or you just press k on the big kind of like panel the yellow square the inventory and press k and then you'll see you put any kind of ore in there and then it will find it down to any kind of ingot but because it's connected to the assembler using insulated walls you see these insulated walls that means that it will basically connect it to the actual machine because that's touching that and that's touching that so now the assembler will directly receive the ingots from the refinery so instead of the refinery putting the ingots there it will put the ingots in there which is very helpful because it saves you from having to drag it out fill up your volume of your invent inventory drag it back in then produce so it's just cutting corners basically so the refinery refines your ores so that they can be used to assemble things then we click on production of the assembler as the things say assembling so this is how you assemble things so in order for me to say make a uh let's do a cockpit that's that's a simple so it says i need an interior plate to build a cockpit okay so display computer motor and construction component so construction component needs iron ingots interior plates need iron ingots computer needs some silicon and gold uh display needs silicon gold and iron so very and yeah motor oops forgot about that nickel cobalt nine so we have like a big ingredient list of what we need so 
that's how you produce things and then you get your welder tool out and weld the thing but we'll go on to that in a second so now we'll go on to mining which is the essential part to getting started in space engineers unless you go on uh, an easy start because i'm not too sure of the easy start to start you with uh your own like oops sorry i'm not too sure if your um easy start actually starts you with a mining ship itself but for those survivors, this is just the bare bone space station with your medical room and your refinery and assembler because those are expensive to make. So we're just going to turn on our jetpack by pressing X and we're going to fly over. Now this hand drill will automatically detect ores when we get near to them. So there we go, we've got some nickel and iron over there. We're just going to find some surface ores at the moment. We've got some more iron. There, yeah, iron is plentiful so but iron is very good as well uh, uranium okay so uranium's very uh, quite rare it's the third rarest ore according to the wiki so that's basically used to fuel but we need to refine it first so what we're doing is we're going to press it turn on our lights and we're just going to basically drill into this ore and you'll see some rocks just go flying out in front of my screen and that's basically the ore chunks that you're mining off. So now I've got to fly out into space and collect them. So basically just fly out. If you see the yellow blocks, press box, press T. It's not going to get one too far out because I'll just get deleted in a bit. But we are going to get the ones that are, say, around here. So we're basically just going to keep collecting. Sorry about the croaky voice, by the way. I've barely woken up. We're gonna. Uh, there you go. So now, if we press K, we'll see you've got 333.44 kilograms of iron. Yeah. Okay, so we've got uranium, iron, nickel, and gold. So it's towards the uranium. So you can hold T when mining, and sometimes it will just like automatically pop up the rocks as they just fly out in front of you. But obviously, it's a bit of a finger Olympics, you could say. Especially if you use your index finger to do it, because then you get your. Yeah. Ah, okay. So this is uranium. The really black, that dark rock there, is uranium. It might be hard to see when you're mining, but it's just, yeah, it looks like this is sideways, but you know. Yeah. So let's just collect the uranium. The uranium is basically weightless. Uh, well, we refined uranium is. But the nice thing about it is, is that when it's weightless, you can carry tons of it. And I literally mean like a ton of uranium around and it will barely weigh anything in the game but I'm not too sure about real life but you know if you're holding uranium in real life then you might need to question why you're holding uranium <laughs> especially a ton of uranium that's ever so slightly worrying yeah you don't want to do that so I'm just going to fly around collect all these ores we want to get as much as possible for now and I should really start moving on to some other ores in a second. So iron is the ore that's like fastest to refine, so don't be afraid to get tons of that stuff. Like, and I literally mean tons. Like it just it goes about four kilograms per second, I think, maybe less than that. So I'm just going to turn off our jetpack refinery, and we're going to drop the iron in there and get some of the uranium in there as well so as you can see it is going down but in such a massive amount that you can't see it in an offline game but trust me if I like go out of the game and turn back on then you'll see it going down but at the moment you just leave it to refine and it doesn't like keep a running count which is quite interesting that might be a bug or that might be just to save time we put it in the first slot. So the first slot of in the refinery of the ore will take priority. So the iron's taking priority over the uranium. But as soon as the iron's pro refined, the uranium will take its place and then it will be refined itself. So in this medical room, you'll see in my bottom left there's the energy. So when that hits zero percent, you're gonna start dying and you won't have your jetpack to power your life support is going to switch off and bad things are going to happen 
So just walk up to this panel here and hold T and it will regenerate your energy. And it will heal you. Or, as an alternate option, you could fire to this cockpit here and hop in it. And it will only regenerate your energy, but not your health. Right, so now we're going to fly over and we're going to get that nickel that I saw. Over here. -ish. Yeah, there you go, down here. So we're not going to pick up any of these stones, we're just going to keep on drilling. Is that an ore? Nice. It's already some nickel. Yeah, there you go, so this is the nickel ore. Because it's all floating to the bottom because we're still in the gravity radius of uh, the space station, which is very nice. Which makes it easier to harvest. Which is why it is sometimes a good idea to have a mining ship with a gravitational field because that lets you save your energy without using your jetpack. And it just makes the ores fall to the bottom of the asteroid well, that you're mining. Man, this gets disorientating. Wait, what the? Ah, oh, there's the exit. Right, okay. Phew. I was wondering where the exit was there. Okay. We can just turn our jetpack off and walk within it, but that doesn't really work because we slide everywhere. Because we dug down. Right. So let's fly back out. So we have 1.14k of nickel, which is almost too much nickel. We won't be able to get refine all of that easily. So now we're going to be on the hunt for some gold. Nickel one. Man, there's too much nickel. Nickel, iron, <gasps> uranium, iron, nickel. Yeah, you can still kind of hear me go <gasps> whenever I find uranium because some some games I've been searching for uranium like long past running out of fuel on like four percent energy. So it's helped a lot, really, to find all of that. Silicon, there we go. Okay, so this silicon is essential for us. So we're just gonna mine it. Be ready though to start mining and then some silicon bits will start flying off without you realizing that it's silicon, which is why I'm like still because the silica, the markers of the ores, what was that? The markers of the ores aren't always exact, so like, ow, they'll move basically. So you could be digging for some silicon, but then when you get close to the silicon, the silicon marker will move. Doesn't mean the ores moved. It just means the ore detector is being helpful, or maybe not helpful in this case, and showing you where the next ore is, which will basically just allow you to keep mining. So. That's what happens if you see your ore suddenly jump somewhere and you don't think like, oh no, it's just like, it's teleported away. No, it hasn't. It's just, you know, moved. Moved to a better place. Or telling you where the next ores are so you can mine it and be happy. But I'm going to need to watch my volume here. So your vo uh, volume is the weight you can carry. Let's just, just drop some stones because have some effect on me. So volume is the weight you can carry, and because I set it to realistic times three, I have three times the inventory capacity. Normally, oh, that's silicon. There you go. Normally, you can only carry 400 uh, liters. I think it, I don't know if it's liters. I'm assuming it's liters, as it's an L. Correct me on that. Space engineers, experts. But that's our maximum carrying capacity, so you need to be careful with that. The, the, you can only improve it by changing the game settings, I think, as of now. I'm not too sure. I haven't done any exploring, whether there's backpacks or anything else. There might be some mods to allow you to do it, but I certainly know you can set it in the settings. So, as you can see, our volume is getting pretty high at the moment. So, I'm just going to pick up the last bits of silicon ore. And we're going to fly out and knock all these gods everywhere. A chain reaction. I think it's actually quite cool. You just got like these rocks floating off into space. We're just gonna start losing speed. 
I'm using our shoot so you can just disable the gun. The jetpack. Right, refineries, take a look. So we got some refined uranium in here. So we're just going to take priority in refining the iron, then we're going to do silicon, then we're going to put nickel behind because uranium. So now I'm going to the assembler and take out the uranium and put it inside the reactor and that's just increased how much fuel we have basically. So we're all just going to start making the basis of my ship. So we're going to make a very basic ship for now. We're going to need to make um, some steel plates. So we're just going to press control and left click and we'll make 20 steel plates. And that will start assembling. Which you may or may not see because it doesn't actually produce. Which isn't very helpful really. But bleh, bleh, bleh. Ah! Okay. So this is essentially the basics to Space Engineers. I'm not going to go into making things that will be for another time as it takes a very long time in single player. But the basics is mining, finding the ores, going into the refinery, refining it, and then assembling it into different parts that you need to make parts with. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next episode of Space Engineers. <laughs>